which is established in 1938 as a maker specializing in speaker products, celebrated its 50th anniversary in 1988. <laughs> 今から March 1966, three years after it opened its U.S. office, Pioneer established its first overseas subsidiary, Pioneer Electronics USA, in order to make inroads into this vast market. Pioneer started to sell its own brand with its own subsidiary at the very home of audio products. That same year, Pioneer also established a sales subsidiary in Europe. By the mid-1970s, Pioneer had set up manufacturing facilities in Europe and in the United States in order to pursue the policy of making products at the place of consumption. Pioneer introduced a high-power, component car stereo with superior performance and sound quality.
This is a Pioneer RT707. Plays forward and reverse. It runs at seven and a half and three and three quarters. Has tape and source monitoring. Has bias and equalization settings. It has a pitch control. Can do repeat play. Four digit index counter. The RT707 has adjustments available through the head cover. The Pioneer RT707 came out in 1977 for a retail price of $595. I'll reverse it. It's very smooth operation, very The Pioneer RT909 uses 10 and a half inch reels. It's a three motor transport playing in both directions. It records only in forward, but there is a fourth head for playback in the reverse direction. The transport provides a closed loop dual cap stand drive system. The head configuration is four track, two channel, so that the unit may be used for stereo or mono. Permits sound on sound recording, and it may be used for unattended recording by means of an external timer. The 909 has tape and source monitoring, bias and equalization adjustments, mic and line mixing, adjustments to the heads, access through the head panel, has display options, meter options, it adjusts for real size, It plays seven and a half, three and three quarters. Has a pitch control. You can do repeat. You can handle a timer. And it plays in both directions. Beautiful design.